For those of you just joining us, this is, uh, this is written by the Apostle Paul. He had written this letter to a church he had planted a while back there in the city of Corinth. City, uh, Corinth was a mega city, huge city. It was a, probably a very large church. And like a lot of churches get, it just got a little bit dysfunctional. There had been come divisions all throughout the church. People were polarizing behind these high profile public figures who were teachers in the church like Paul and another guy named Apollos. And then there was a Peter party and a Christ party. And so you had this church split. It would be like today in Broadview if there was a West party and everyone's all about the West party and then there was a Roger party and then a Brian party and then a Pastor David party and you can see he's already playing into it nicely. And so they were like, we're all about this and we're all about that and there's not enough things for the music and there's not enough attention to the youth and, and the church began to split over those kinds of things and people got really upset and you could just imagine what a nightmare that would be. There would be no unity in the church and if the church does not have unity, then the church cannot accomplish its divine purpose. And so Paul's saying, you guys got to get your act together. You need to remind yourselves what it is that you say you believe. Remind yourself of the gospel that in Christ, uh, the cross, if it tells you anything, it tells you that there's no reason to boast in yourself. There's certainly no reason to boast in these teachers. And uh, so you grow the church by grounding it in the gospel. You grow yourself as an individual by uh, having the gospel permeate the way that you think, the way that you behave, the way that you spend your money, the way that you raise your kids. Over and over and over again, Paul is saying, gospel your life, gospel your marriage, gospel your finances, gospel your church.